Hi everyone. Good evening. Good afternoon. Hello, hello. It's Esther here with a live from Holland. And let me check out our Facebook page and see if I can find you. Let me see. Where are you? Yes. <laughs> I think I found you. Let me turn off the sound. Okay, welcome. Hi everyone. Good evening, good afternoon. It depends on where you are, of course. Hi Sylvia, Jona, Petra, Anne, Anita. Hi, good to see you. Hi Fineke. Hi Ro, good to see you too. Debbie, hello all. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome. Um, well, let me start first with what a day it was in the UK. <laughs> um, there are probably people from the UK watching too. Uh, and maybe um, you also have been watching uh, television today. Hi Terry, good to see you. <coughs> I'm sorry guys. Um, and watched the, the funeral of Queen Elizabeth. Well, um, I have been watching almost all day. <laughs> I tried to do some work in between. And I must say it was very impressive, but I can't hear any pipers anymore. <laughs> I've heard enough of them. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Honora. Have you been watching too? Yes, of course you have. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Jane. Hi, Anne. Hi, Jacqueline from Canada. I saw your prime minister too. Hi, Anya. Good to see you're there too. Hi, Joanna. Hi, hi, hi. Well, okay. So, who of you, who of you, have been has been watching um, the UK television today? Well, I think it was broadcasted all over the world. <laughs> hi, Michelle. Hi, good to see you. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> hi, Nelinka. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, what I am going to do today, I saw the end, Joseph, oh yes, because you are in a completely different time zone. Yes, Honora, I can imagine you've been watching too. Carla has been watching too, Jona, yes, it was really impressive. Hi, Jacqueline, good to see you too. Um... Yes, it was very impressive. I don't know what else to say about it. <laughs> uh, everything so precise and well organized. And I heard someone say um, um, because of uh, they had to organize so much uh, in, well, what was it? About eight or nine days. Uh, it was like organizing um, 100 how do you say it? States, state visitors? No. Uh, royal visitors? Well, whatever. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Yeah, a beautiful ceremony. Okay, uh, last week I did a page about the Queen. Yes, I wanted to show it to you again. And this afternoon when I was preparing this one while watching, I found the leftovers of um, uh, the Union Jack uh, I made on this side and I bumped into this part so I thought okay I'm going to glue it down on this page and I added a photo of Prince Charles now King Charles so um, I just wanted to show it to you uh, there's not much going on here but I want to leave it, it uh, like the way it is now um, because I didn't want to put a picture of our grandchildren or something else uh, next to the Queen so I thought this was a good uh, solution um, well, to fill up this page. <laughs> so they are both together now in my journal. Oh, sorry for Charlotte, she was crying. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> Watch this from 5 a.m. Karen. Yes, it was really pretty. <laughs> the pipe bag men, yeah. <laughs> there were a lot of pipe bag men over there. Are there also ladies who, who play pie bags, by the way? I'm sure there will be. Um, oh, before I forget, I have a note somewhere with the winner of... Um, just getting back to business. <laughs> the winner of uh, the gift certificate for this week. It's Christine Shaw. 
uh, Christine, congratulations, you win a $50 gift certificate. And please contact uh, um, by email info at ecraftdesigns.com um, so you can get your uh, $50 gift certificate for sharing our um, video last week, our live. Hi Lisanne, good to see you. Hi, yes, state visits. Thank you, Angelique. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, that was my message for Christine. I hope she sees this and otherwise maybe someone will tell her. Um, what am I going to do today? Yes, I'm going to work with washi tape uh, and uh, some pictures of our grandson. He turned seven yesterday, so I've got a few pictures over here. Uh, this one I screwed already um, because they are too small. You see, I didn't uh, pay attention to the correct size. Uh, I forgot to remove the white borders before printing. So um, I had to print them again. <laughs> and as you can see, these are a little bit smaller, uh, bigger, but it's just enough uh, to use them in this frame. So I think I am going to start with the frame or shall I start with the washi tape? I'm going to start with the washi tape. Okay, I'm going to put this aside first because I want to use a mat and I'm going to make the mat with uh, some washi tape. Hold on, I have to get my, I forgot. I need to have my die cutting machine uh, next to me. Okay, um, let me see. Washi tape and a piece of paper. This is just a, a plain piece of white paper and I am going to use blue washi tape. I am going... Hi Cindy! Good to see you! <laughs> Hi Inge! Yeah, Anita, seven years. Time flies. Uh, I'm going to cover this whole sheet with um, washi tape. This is also from uh, the Elizabeth, Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, collection, just in case you don't know this. Uh, can I show you a full box? Oh, I'm going to grab a full box, just in case you don't know what it looks like. I think I've got one here. Um, I thought I had one, yes. <laughs> This is the washi tape from Elizabeth Craft Designs. So it's in a box, it's a fun box. It's from last year, I think, yeah. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six rolls of tape in it. So that's really cool to work with. And for this one, I'm going to cover up the whole sheet. And then I am going to use it for die cutting. I hope it works this way because I don't want to put my head in front of the camera. So it's a little bit hard for me to see. Oh, you already see my hair. <laughs> I'm going to move the camera down a little bit. I hope this works. And let me see. Well, you see all the mess around. <laughs> okay, it needs to be a little bit more down. I'm sorry guys for all <laughs> the movements I am making with the camera. No, it's still no good, but yeah, I think it's better now. Okay, go on with just applying some tape on the paper. Oh my. <laughs> now you don't fall into the water, but I think it's better now. Okay, and I think I need one more here. Okay, what have we got? Washi tape on a sheet of paper. I'm going to trim off the excess. And in the meantime, I'm trying <laughs> to read your comments, but that's not easy, cutting, talking, and reading <laughs> all at the same time. Okay, get rid of this. Trimming off the other side. 
And my idea, idea sorry, <laughs> for this is to use um, a die from the rounded corner page. Uh, to use this as a mat. Of course I will have some leftovers, but I'm going to save those for later. I am going to use this set. And it has the rounded corners. It's set number 1867. Um, no, 76, sorry. <laughs> 76. And I am going to die cut it like this. So this will be a, a leftover and uh, I, well, I'm trimming it off first because I might use it later. So this is enough for die cutting. And I can use this uh, for something else later on. So I'm going to run this one through my um, die cutting machine. One moment, please. Uh, let me see, I'm going to do it this way. I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape to hold it in place. Um, it, 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 you don't need to do it really precise, but because of the lines um, I'm having in this design of washi tape, I think it's better when it's a little bit... Um, <laughs> Yeah, in position, in position. Yes, here we go. Ooh, the storage pockets. Karen, hold on. I will take a look for you. Uh, I think you want to use, uh, mm, not sure. Inches or centimeters? I do have something with inches over here. It is almost 10, yeah, let's say 10, 10 by 7. 10 by 7 inch. And the brand is called Folder Sys. Folder Sys. Folder Systems, I think it is. Okay, here is my die cutted piece with washi tape. It's also fun when you uh, apply this washi tape on paper and then you cut out all those little elements like the little washi, uh, <laughs> the little tags, the little parts with love this. So that's also something you can do with it. Um, of course, I did something uh, already this afternoon and I am going to show you what it looks like. Um, where did I put it? I think it's somewhere here. Yes. <laughs> Um, I took another sheet, the same size, and just to show you how much you can cut out one sheet from one sheet. So here's, and these are all elements from um, the Elizabeth Craft Designs uh, Planner Collection. So I was able to cut out those two from here, from this side. And then I had this one here. And this part, the top tagger, the, the, the top of the tag, <laughs> uh, I was able to cut from this piece here. So you see, it's only one piece of paper. I think in, in Holland it's A5 size. And um, well, you can use quite a lot of elements, or you can make quite a lot of elements from one sheet of paper. So this is all in blue. Of course, I'm still into blue, red and white. <laughs> Hi Dantje, good to see you too. I also um, die cut it in black and white, so here the same. Just to show you how fun and how cool it looks. Here I did the same um, rounded corner mat. And again with the washi tape, this is from the different roll, that's from this one. So maybe Marie Claire, not sure if you are here. <laughs> um, black and white from Marie Claire. So here we go again, same, um, I use the same dies and as you can see here's the little topper for the tag which I also cut out from this piece over here. Yeah Marie Claire you're here! <laughs> so it made me think of you somehow, not sure why but <laughs> I can guess, uh, you can guess why. Okay so I'm not going to use the black and white now. 
So I'm going, but I'm going to save them definitely to use uh, later in another project. Yes, the black and white looks really chic, but I'm going back to my blue, 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 blue. And with this, I'm com going to make uh, a page with uh, our grandson's birthday. So my thought was, hmm, this is a little bit too much probably. And if I'm going to put it here, I think that's too much covering up um, the, the, the things I did last week with uh, embossing with the stencil. So I'm thinking of putting it here, but I don't really like uh, the two patterns together. So I think I am going to put something in between uh, to make the the transition a little bit uh, smoother. <laughs> oh my, what do I miss on your comments? Let me check the comments. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I saw Mary Claire, the washi tape, black and white. Oh, okay. Die cutting with washi tape. Yeah, I think it's also cool if you, um, if you're a card maker or you maybe you're a, a journaler and a card maker, use this as a background for a card. I mean, and it's a great way to use up all your washi tape. If you if you forget about using it, um, just use it like this. And maybe it's also cool, but this is the wrong size now, to put it in the planner pockets. How fun is this? But then I should uh, I should have been uh, taking a different size, you know, the different uh, dies for this. But I think it looks uh, really nice too. But for card making and all other things, you can do this too. Um, I think I need to put some red in between those two layers. Now, have I got some red laying around here? Probably not. Not the correct size, I think. Hmm. Let me see, let me see. Well, maybe a piece of um, vintage paper. Just checking out my drawers here with... <laughs> This is too small because it looks so much better when there's um, another color in between. So I need to find something in the correct size. Oh, here we go. Some old ledger paper. Yeah, I think I can do that. Or, or let me check what else have I got here. Hmm. Not sure if this one is big enough. Yeah, ah, that's easier for me. <laughs> it's a little bit more um, distressed because this is also a really old, um, how do you, what do you call it, index card from a German company. The only downside now is if I cover it up, you won't see the beautiful logo anymore. So maybe I'm going to do it this way and I can use this part later on. Uh, maybe I should run the corners too. And yes, I am going to do that. Okay, For th therefore I need to measure um, the width of the paper. Where is my centimeter ruler? <laughs> Sorry guys, if I can't keep up with all your comments. Oh, red washi tape, that's also possible, yeah. But I'm going for this one now, so let me check. Just a little border, 10 and a half. I can do that. 10 and a half, so that should be somewhere here. And then I need to trim a little bit off at the top or bottom. It's not really it's maybe half a centimeter, I guess. 20, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do a few millimeters and then it's okay. Oh, <laughs> the wrong one. Almost screwed it up. Let me see, just a little bit. And in the meantime, I am wondering where my corner punch is. I think I already packed it. 
for next weekend. Is it next weekend? No, it's in two weeks. Yeah, we do have um, um, a planner weekend, a planner retreat in Holland. So I've been preparing workshops and I already put some things aside which I should not forget. So I think my other corner punch is there. Ah, oh, this is still too long. I have to trim something more off. That's not the, oh yes, yeah, you see, I need to trim a little bit more. There's a small trimmer over here. Uh, well, it doesn't matter if I'm trimming it off one side or the other. Hopefully it's okay now, but I am afraid it's still a little bit too long. No, it's perfect this way. Okay, this one will go here for sure. This one will go here with two pictures. These are too small, so I'm going to put these aside. And these I have to trim off something too. And then I can uh, attach them to the back side with some tape. Because this is exactly the same size uh, as the frame. So I need to attach it at the top and at the bottom side of the photo. So I can trim something off. Else, is she watching? Else, else. Oh, yes. Okay, enjoy Naples. You are on a holiday. Go away. Go away, else, else, go away. <laughs> you don't, you don't want to be here. Enjoy, Yup, take her away. <laughs> Give Elsa a nice glass of wine. Take her out to dinner. <laughs> don't let her watch YouTube or um, Facebook videos. It's forbidden territory, else. Uh, she she needs to check. <laughs> she wants to be here. Okay, so this one is going here. Trimming a little bit off at this side. And then doing the same with the other one. So I think I'm able to glue it down like this. Trying to keep my desk a little bit tidy. <laughs> trying. <laughs> I'm not promising. Yes, Sir Stempelot, she is keeping an eye on me. <laughs> no. She's just curious what's going on. <laughs> so let me see if this one will go here. Yes. Ah, he looks so cute, doesn't he? Seven years already. And let me see. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to use some, uh, well, let's <laughs> use some washi tape to attach the pictures on the back side of the frame. And I now notice that now I'm good. I am good. I hope. Let me see, where does it... Okay, just in between those stitched lines. <laughs> no, she doesn't want to... No, I'm not going to do any sneak peeks. Else, are you still there? Can I do a sneak peek? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, she... I'm off center. Okay. Take two. More to the left. From my point of view. And let me see if I'm good now. No. That's the problem of turning your things upside down. Oh. I bend the frame a little bit. It works much better when you do it from this side. Okay. And now trying to attach a little bit more. No, she can't live without us. <laughs> This one is okay now. There's a little bit of washi tape peeking from behind. 
and over here I need to I bend it the frame a little bit so it's a little bit uh, off center here off center now <laughs> no the new release is from me Linda it's uh, coming next week okay you know what I'm going to do I'm going to apply a little bit of washi like this and then I'm going to turn it upside down flip it over that's easier <laughs> hi Nancy give me an E just like the cheerleaders no. okay this one is good too let me see a little bit more washi tape so it stays in place well I think I'm going to do a little bit more washi tape <laughs> Christine yes I, I also need a money tree myself <laughs> sorry I can't help you with that <laughs> I can make beautiful dyes dye designs but unfortunately I'm not able to do money trees I keep trying but somehow it doesn't work okay two pictures of a ghoul guy um, which I was thinking of doing on this page but uh, as you know I would like to have come back this design on this page too uh, so I think I need something from this bag shall we do oh I think I'm going to do the big one and I know it covers up uh, quite a bit of the tag, but I don't mind. But you see, when you use uh, the same piece of paper or the same design paper on both sides, it all comes together. Oh, a whole forest, that would be cool. <laughs> and then you, come all, you can all come over. Picking the money trees instead of picking blueberries. How cool would that be? Um... Adhesive. I need some tape. Let me start with this one first because I know for sure now it's going to be on this um, piece of cardstock. And let me see. <laughs> yes, it's a pity, Mayan. <laughs> Inge, is your birthday today? Happy birthday, Inge. Congratulations. I hope you had a nice day or still having a nice day, of course. Okay, I can do this one over here. Trying to line it out a little bit in the center. And that's always hard when you're doing a life because you're not completely in front of your uh, work. And I think this one needs a little bit of distress ink. As usual, my frayed burlap one. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> You need a very, uh, like a, a, an egg, uh, an oak, no, <laughs> an oak, no, it's not an oak, but a maple, no, maple tree, I don't know. What is an eikenboom in English, girls and guys? I know I know it, but... Okay, a little bit more on this side. Okay, that one can go here. But now I'm thinking, maybe I should do the same with the tag. Also a little bit of this cardstock on the side, but I don't have the same card anymore. Let me check my stash. And as you can see, I'm going to show it to you. It's a, a basket full of <laughs> vintage papers and things like that. And now I'm looking for a piece of the same cardstock, which hopefully, yes, 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 I found one. Well, there are two. Saved by the bell, I would almost say. 
but I think <laughs> now I won't forget the red tape. I'm going to use that somewhere. Not sure when <laughs> and where. Two goose. Oh yay. Oak tree. Oh, I was in the good direction. Uh, I think I'm going to do it like here. Just laying it down, just for my imagination, so I can see if it will work. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the same with the tag, and then I'm going to apply this on this page. Uh, I can do trim this off uh, with a pair of scissors, so I'm going to glue down the tag first. Oh, it was an oak. Mm -hmm. Let me see, gluing down, of, uh, applying some tape on the tag. <laughs> a little bit here, a little bit there. And working with the tape, uh, for me, it al always works quite um, quickly. I know um, Els is always using uh, the tweezers to take this off. I'm not sure, I haven't. I'm always using my nails. Oh, okay. This goes too. <laughs> um, trying to divide it evenly at this one side and the top side. Gluing it down and then I'm just taking a large pair of scissors. I'm trying to trim or cut a straight line. Uh, I think it worked out quite good. On, my, on this side and now we have a little mat behind the tag too also need some um oh you are also using it a lot anita the tweezers It's just a finishing touch, don't you think, by using a little bit of distress ink uh, on the edges of your paper. I know it's a little bit hard to see on camera, but for real, it makes all the difference, I think. Hey, Andrea, <laughs> welcome, welcome. I was just thinking, is David here? Do we miss David? He's probably working. Okay, I need to punch a new hole. Oops. And then this one can go over here. How cool is that? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this page, but uh, I wanted to make it, um, you know, to go together. So that's why it's already here. Um, but I didn't print any pictures yet. Oh, there's one left over here. No. It's going to be, oh, my week number, of course. I need to put week 37. And I have some bits and pieces over here. And I need to use the red washi tape. And I want to put something over here. So I'm going to start with, um, what shall I do? What shall I do? Uh, reinforces. Mm. I'm thinking this is one I die cut it before and they're a little bit lighter color wise but it's approximately the same color shade as uh, the background paper so I think this will go well together <laughs> no money on the tree uh, Nancy uh, well if ever some oh this one is not a good one Sorry, I want another one. There are two different kinds of paper in this little jar or box, sorry. And I, took I picked up the wrong one. Oh, Penny, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the cake, it was amazing. Actually, he really doesn't like cake. So uh, his mom asked him, what do you want? And he said, macarons. Do you know macarons? I'm sure you are. Those are the little cookies over here. You, you glue two cookies together and there's something in between. I think it's French, macarons. So uh, I think he ate all the macarons from the cake and he didn't eat the cake itself. 
So, a macaron cake it is, or was. <laughs> okay, and now maybe I also need to put some twine or something in there. Do I have twine which I can grab from here? Only black. Okay, I'm going to put some twine in there. And maybe later on I can um, hang something on it, but hang something on it, uh, attach something to it, <laughs> sounds a little bit better. Well, actually, I'm I'm never uh, I'm not really f keen on macarons too, to be honest. But he he loves them. Okay, a little piece of twine, just as a decorative element. Yes, Nancy, Vince is also seven years already. <laughs> Do you remember when he was born? Not sure if we already knew each other. Yes, we knew each other. Yes, macarons are French. That's what I thought. <laughs> oh. Oops. Okay. Now, it's a little bit too long, uh, the twine, but if I want to uh, add something to it, I need to have some space to um, to attach it, of course. The box, um, yes, they are boxes meant for um, watercolor paint or any other paints, but I think usually they used for watercolor paints. Uh, I found these in an art uh, craft store in Holland. They are also available on Amazon. Uh, I bought those too. With um, they have a blue lid. This is black. Uh, I didn't like them as much as the black one, but that's my personal opinion, and that's maybe because I also can compare them. So I like the black ones better. But I, from what I've heard, they are not uh, being manufactured anymore. So, but I'm sure there are boxes like that uh, everywhere. What you also can use, I also do those, have those, a few, wait, I'm going to show them in a minute, are the boxes for uh, diamond painting. I think everybody knows diamond painting or have heard about it. Okay, this one here, and I've got those two. Let me see. Um, these are different boxes, like this. And these are uh, attached to each other. So you've got four on a row, but there are probably different um, boxes of those two, <laughs> if you can get them out. And then you can open and close each compartment on its own. Uh, I glued down some um, samples, samples uh, at the top of those boxes. Oh, this one doesn't want to close anymore. Hmm. Okay, just bend it over and so, these are also um, yeah, easy to use. It works for me, but I think it's really personal uh, for everybody else, for everyone, um, yeah, it's different. Okay, well, I think I'm, uh, I'm done. No, I'm not done. Of course I'm not done. This I'm not going to glue down either because I am not sure what's going to be on this side. Of course, it needs to have some red. I have those pieces. These are the leftovers from this frame. And one of them has, uh, I, I call it a Euro lock. I'm not sure what it's called in English. Uh, we call it Euro lock. Uh, I can use maybe one or both of them on this page with some pictures. That's my idea. Um, yeah, and then I need to have, oh, I need to have his age. Yeah, seven. Oh, no, I can see the seven on the cake. So that's good for me. Um red washi tape maybe and some um oh i'm going to put the lid back on because i know just in case <laughs> oh medication containers yes that's also a good idea i'm going to put this back in and i need to drink something one moment please I need to put down something about his birthday, of course. I think I'm not going to use those for now. 
So I'm going to put these aside too. Yes, uh, Femke, that's what I'm always afraid of when I'm having the lid of my um, reinforcers boxes, that it falls and then I need to hoover everything <laughs> or just sort them again. So I'm thinking of using this. This is one of the labels I stamped on white cardstock with some red ink. And I need a stamp which says happy birthday or something like that. Birthday. Ah, I can do happy on one label and birthday on the other one. And then the date. I'm going to do that. Okay. Um, let me see. I'm putting this aside for now so I can do some stamping. I will pick it up later. Oh. Um, a stamping block. Oh my gosh. It's good you don't see all the mess around me. <laughs> it's always the same when I'm doing a live. Okay, where are my red labels? Here. I hope I can stamp correctly because I only have three labels. So I don't want to mess up. So this one says happy. Um, I know this is quite a new ink pad, so let's use this one. Stamp set, you mean, uh, Cindy? Oh, this is number CS, uh, clear stamp, 160. 160. I'm going to show it to you. It's this stamp set with all the numbers and some words. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. Stamp it off. You know, I'm not really careful with my stamps. Uh, birthday is over here. Just trying to make sure there's plenty of ink on the stamp. And hopefully I'm stamping a little bit. Yes, this is good too. Let it dry for a second and then I can cut them out of the paper. And over here I'm going to put the date. So today... It's the 19th, correct? So yesterday was the 8th, yes, 18 July, August, September, 18, using my office stamp, <laughs> date stamp, always check first if you have the correct date. <laughs> Oh, Diane, I'm sure Sir Stampelot won't mind. <laughs> Doesn't mind that you ordered. <laughs> okay. I am going to cut these out using my smaller... Oh, there's already double-sided tape at the back, so that's easy. Sometimes I forget to do so. Oh. They're not <laughs> all lined out perfectly, so it's a little bit uh, harder to cut them. I can't go on uh, and do a straight line. What's wrong with you date with your date stamp, Anita? You don't need to touch the the stamp itself with your fingers, do you? Sorry, if I'm <laughs> if I'm not talking to you, I'm reading the comments. 
just in case I miss something. And I probably do. Okay, here we go. So we have a lot of fun things. Well, a lot. We have some fun things coming up. Uh, in Holland, uh, the planner event, the planner weekend, uh, the first weekend of October. And then we two weeks later, we have um, the online workshop with Annette in the Facebook group. So it's going to be fun the next few weeks for sure. Okay, here are my labels. Removing this. Okay, putting back the stamp so I can <laughs> clean it up. Okay, and this one goes in the back. Going back to my planner, my journal. And making some space. Uh, let me see uh, what you've got. It will be sitting at inked. I have no idea. Um, Anita, <laughs> is it the same stamp as I've got over here? Something like this? Yeah, you, you should turn here. Yeah, okay. There's a little bit ink on my fingers now too. But I'm not sure if it's that from that stamp or for the other. Or from the other one. Okay, uh, let me see. Happy, happy, happy. I'm thinking this might be fun. Something like this. And then... Hmm, it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Let me see. Moving this one up a little bit. No, 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 Esther. Oh, I can do this. Oh, it's a little bit, um, I smudged it. Okay, it is what it is. Okay, I'm going to glue down this one first. So I'm not able to think any longer about it. If it's in the correct place, just glue it down. Otherwise I am moving these pieces around uh, in half an hour <laughs> again, or still moving them around. And I don't want to do that. So. Just glue them down. I think for this one I'm going to use tape. A little bit more here and I'm not applying tape completely to the sides as you know because I mostly want to um, slide something underneath it. So let me see it's this side. So here we go a little bit off the edge. And it's not really smart working this way <laughs> while the piece of paper is laying on top of your journal. Oh, here you see it's still loose over here. I need to have some more tape. Can I do that here? Yes. No. Let me see. I'm going to apply it and then I'm going to remove it in the end. So it does have a little bit of sticky stuff over here. Okay, this one I'm going to put aside for later. Week 37, 73, 37 also aside because I now want to concentrate on this page. Happy birthday, boy. I can also do this, but I think it's also nice. Let me see. What do you like best? Like this and then this one on this side. That should be fine, does it? What do you think? Hi George, George Ronda Toll. Welcome, welcome California. <laughs> oh, you didn't know how to start really. Just start, just glue something down. Is it okay like this? So happy birthday on one side and then the date on the other side or shall I do something like this? So happy birthday. 
and then I can do the date over here. Hmm. Links and rechts leuk. <laughs> I think we're all divided. I like it. Yeah, leuk so. Okay. I'm going to put those back. On bottom right. Oh, <laughs> I like happy on one side, birthday on the other side. Oh. More decisions. Let me see. I'm going to leave it here for a while so I can check <laughs> um, check it on camera. Uh, I like this way and now I'm going to put it back the other way. Normally I'm, ta I'm taking pictures with my phone. And then oh, I can also do this. That's better, maybe. It's a little bit slippery, the, um, the washi tape. Yeah, I think I'm going for this one. Either is fine. Date at the bottom. Yeah, okay. So, I'm going to start with the word birthday. No, I'm going to glue this one down first. Sorry, sorry. Otherwise, it will keep moving. And I cannot, I cannot move, remove this tape. The tape over there, over here, over there. <laughs> yet. So, I have to try and figure it to remove it later. Oh no, this is not going to work. Too much to the to the sides. A little bit more to this side. Yeah, I think I'm going to be something like this. Now I can remove the backing tape here from and then immediately put this in between. Okay. Here we go, and then we do happy birthday over here. And what time is it? 10 minutes. I think I'm done a little bit earlier today. By the way, next week I'm also here. And the week after that, I think it will be, but I'm not sure. Um, no, wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the week after, Annette, I think. Because um, then we are having the weekend, the planner weekend, and I think I need a, a day or two off when we come back on Sunday evening, late Sunday evening. Uh, so I won't be doing the live here, and I'm not going to do one on Tuesday uh, on the f on the YouTube channel. So I'm off for one week then. <laughs> It has to be a little bit straight compared to the other one. Yeah, I think I'm good like this. Okay, happy birthday, boy. And now maybe a little bit more um, postal stuff. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of different opinions and it's stuck now, so I can't move it anymore. Sorry if you, if you thought it would be nicer the other way around. But it's only paper and Oh, I need to apply some glue underneath here, but it's fine for now. Let me see what else I've got here. I'm not sure if this one is the right one to go there. Okay, just taking them out of the bag. It's easier to look at. Oh, there are more stamps here, no. I like the words uh, by airmail. So here it says par avion on French. And there's a little airplane here. So that might, might be nice. Do I need something else? Not really, I think. Maybe a little, <coughs> a little, little, little different one. Let me see. Oh, another airplane. And then it's upside down. That's no good. That's no good, Esther. Hmm. So many stamps. So many. No, I'm going back to this one. 
do I? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to glue this one down first. Uh, thanks for watching, Jonah. See you soon. Bye bye. Put uh, everyone here. Just slide it under. Oh, if it wants to be there. <laughs> yeah. I left open a little bit over here because I wanted to put this one on top. Uh, well, <laughs> actually, I don't see. <laughs> don't think you see anything of the of the little airplane anymore but okay uh, the word avion okay cut it in half and i am going to glue that one down here and this uh, also can use a little bit of glue because i forgot to take off the backing uh, tape not sure if it will stick but uh, i'm also sure it won't go anywhere oh and this one is uh, has a gummed backside, so it's easy like this. Now, this one aside. So I think I'm done for today. I did the birthday stamps, uh, the date, blue, blue here. Uh, when I'm going to do this page, I'm going to need some of this red cardstock, so it also comes back. And then, um, well, I think I'm going to show that to you maybe next week. Uh, maybe I finished it before, and otherwise um, I can do it when you're watching next week. Okay, uh, do we have any questions? Oh, Joseph, thank you very much. I hope we meet someday. By the way... <laughs> French office stamps by Femke. That sounds cool too. Thank you, Waldo. Thank you, Patricia, Petra, sorry, Robin, Anita. Thank you all for watching. And again, I will be here one more time next week on Monday. Uh, and a week later, I think. Uh, but check it. Uh, yeah, I have to check it, but I'm not sure. But almost sure that it will be Annette the week after. And then uh, else will be back on the Monday. I think <laughs> okay uh, thanks so much uh, all of you for watching have a good day rest of the day or evening uh, that all depends on wherever you are of course and um, I hope to see you again next week okay thanks for watching bye bye